there's nothing like it. We're like eagles on the open highway. Hey guys, uh, we're making our way into Sturgis here and it's funny, we're usually seeing hundreds of bikes going by us on this little nine mile stretch and we've seen what, four bikes so far? Yeah, it's simply amazing, simply, simply amazing when you're off season and like, I think it would be more than a couple hundred bikes, it would be lined with bikes pretty solid, don't you think? I think we've seen a little more wildlife than usual being that they're not all kind of scared away from the road with all the bikes. Well, it's that time of year. It's coming into spring and, and, and summer, and they're coming out grazing. But what's kind of cool as well is usually every sporadically you'll see all these campsites along the side of the road as well. Right, right. And nothing. But it's sure beautiful, and what a great time to ride when you've got the road to yourself other than these cars. Yeah, it's pretty trippy. Actually, it's the opposite right now. There's more cars going on. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to this little adventure. We uh, show the wives Sturgis. It looks like One-Eyed Jacks is open, so uh -oh. we're going to do that off-season off, off season as well, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how what they have their setup like. Right. It's probably just a building with uh, maybe no tent in front. I don't know. So what are you thinking? We're going to do the Sturgis sign. We'll do LaZelle Street. We'll do Main Street, One-Eyed Jacks. Get a picture of Sturgis on the hill and maybe stop at the Harley dealership. Maybe we can go up the street and show the ladies our house the last time. Sure. The white one on 90th. Oh, uh, two years ago, yeah. And then we'll get all the quintessential Sturgis rides in tomorrow. Well, let's go have some fun, guys. Right on. talking in the head cams. Not a lot of bikes, a lot more cars, uh, but man, it's so beautiful right now. Right, you know, it's amazing because this is where we stop every time our first moment we're in Sturgis at this sign right here. And usually there's a lineup of bikes on both sides and we got to run in and out, get the picture and leave. But look. Now our wives are here. Look, there's a bike coming down the street, uh, but it, like you say, it's mostly cars. Yeah, but check it out. The, the wives are up against the Sturgis sign. They're loving it. We saw a bunch of deer coming through here. We're going to jump into LaZelle Street, point out some areas where like Harley sets up, One-Eyed Jacks, all the trades, booths, and bars. Going to be great. Then we'll jump into Main Street. Maybe go have a drink at One-Eyed Jacks. So this is Sturgis with no rally. That's it. Boom. Aren't these neighborhoods great, man? All these old trees, old growth big land and lots of grass, wonderful homes. Well, they are very awesome to see these houses, but there we're missing like the hundreds of motorcycles that would be all over this street. And all the tents that are usually out front. Yeah, this place gets a lot of tents. Yeah, a lot of tents on every front lawn has a tent on it. I heard that people that live here sometimes just rent out the lawn and they still stay at home. I haven't heard that one, but I, I think uh, a lot of people just, you know, get their houses ready right like right now and they stay in them and then they take off like mid-July. Brad told me he used to do the tent parking at people's houses while they still were home oh, living. Wow, that's crazy. I wouldn't do that, but... Well, here it is. Two years ago, we stayed right here. We had some of Dom's famous chicken. We sat out here. We brought some chairs. We saw an amazing lightning show from the porch there. I was just going to say that. That was <laughs> awesome. And we sit here and we watch all the bikes go by. Yep. All night. And the nice thing about it is we didn't have to drive into town. It was just a nice, easy walk, you know? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, definitely makes it safer, 
especially when you want to have some uh, cocktails in the evening. Indeed. <laughs> so down on the right as we go past this, uh, it's a Harley Davidson store that has all the, you know, trinkets and t-shirts and sweatshirts and and usually it's got uh, cones and everything to mark off the, the parking. Today as we drove by it earlier, there's not a soul in sight other than the window washers. Right, right. It's a trip seeing all the, you know, there's so many lots that usually have barricades and or at least cones and everything. It has a different feel out here, that's for sure. Well, should we keep it rolling a little bit and run down Main Street? Yeah, let's show Main Street. All right, let's roll. Here we are on Main Street. And man, we've seen this thing packed, haven't we? Down the middle, on the sides. Oh yeah, the whole yellow line from start to finish is full of bikes as well as the sides. There's probably like six to eight rows of bikes. Well, this is the iconic street that you see all the heavy bike pictures on. Banners hanging across the road. I mean, they're prepared for it. They come in and set it up quickly, but for sure. right now it's just the, the locals. For first timers, don't do what our uh, our dudes just did in front of me. You want to put both feet down at the stop sign <laughs> and you'll get pulled real quick. Yeah, that's true. And the other thing is they bring out police officers and they are at every one of these intersections and they bring them from all over the country. And we go up to them and try and get the patches from them. I tried to look and see if the dungeon was open. It looks like it may be closed. Well, there was a, a restaurant around here somewhere that we ate at as a last resort, and it was uh, it was not very good. Well, it was right here. <laughs> um, no, it was it was down the side street over oh, there. Oh yeah, but Harley Davidson way back there. They closed that off. That's where Cole Freeman did the jumps. They do events there, and then they closed this. Has a bunch of bikes up and down the street here as well. I want to go left and go into the parking lot of One Eye Jacks here and we can get a photo. Welcome to One Eye Jacks. I mean there's no way you'd be riding on this right now. This is where all the vendor tents are. Right? <laughs> so we are here at a place we've never been when we've come to Sturgis over the last eight years. It's called the Side Hack. Basically, it's the only thing we've seen open right now. Well, it's open, but we usually don't come here because it's pretty packed. Yeah. And we kind of have our walking zone where we go. So we're here. What do you guys think? You, this is the first time you've been here and there's no bikes. I can only imagine what it's like with hundreds of thousands of bikes. It's got to be crazy, and crazy fun, probably. And it's not what I thought it was going to be. It's a lot more, it's more of a town. I thought it was going to be a small, just a small road with a bunch of bikes, but obviously they're not here right now. But it's it's more of a town than what I thought it was going to yeah. be. Cute neighborhoods. Oh, beautiful Can't neighborhoods. Can't imagine all the tents everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so for us, we wanted to show you guys what Sturgis and Deadwood and the roads in. And we got, we got a lot of great stuff to show you tomorrow. Oh, we but got a bike. Today we have our wives in town, so we're gonna have a beer before we head back. Well, I think we're gonna sit out on the balcony here and watch for, and maybe we count how many bikes we see. <laughs> okay. How about that? So Today. let's go get a beer. So we're here at the side hack. We've been out here for about 20 minutes and boom. We've only, <laughs> we've only seen about three or four bikes go by. Right. Um, mostly cars and you know, when rallies on, it is just packed, and you, it's hard to even get a, a seat out on a bench like this or a balcony like this. You know, it's pretty trippy because when the rallies here and the people are all here and there's bikes and there's stuff going on and tents, it, it actually looks like a really cool place to be. It's still a cool place to be, but it's a lot different looking without all the stuff. And hey, here comes another bike. Yeah, brother. Let's finish our beers. Let's do a little uh, head cam down Lazelle here and point out where different places are, like Harley Davidson Indian, uh, JP, all these things that you see during rally, uh, and then head back into Deadwood. And the thing that's interesting, and, and, and I'm glad we're showing everybody, Deadwood is pretty hopping all year round, unless they're buried in snow. but. Sturgis is probably just more locals that are living their lives, going to work, doing their deal. Well, they've got gaming up there. It's a destination point. They've got a lot of different things that, you know, it's kind of like the festival that you have with 
gunfights and, right. and trials, kind of the old West feel to It's it. a deep history and it's more of a tourism place. Yeah. And, and Sturgis, but Sturgis, the rally's been going on here for what, 80 plus years? Uh, yeah, and, and it's going to continue to go. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's work our way back to Deadwood, man. I mean, it's so crazy to see this with no tents and no vendors here. Right, and Harley Davidson has a place right in front of the community center. Yep. And nothing is there. That's where we met Matt Swedland last year. Yes. And then you look at JP Cycles over here. This thing is covered in vendors, and Cardo generally has a booth over there as well. Right. So isn't it crazy to see this place without any uh, action in it? Yeah, it's uh, amazing how nothing is here, but just uh, the, probably the people that live here. Yep. Well, that was uh, showing them what it's like in Sturgis proper with no rally. For sure. And uh, look, we took a picture earlier here at the sign, so let's head back to Deadwood. We'll have some good dinner at the, uh, the salon above uh, Social Club. I'm sorry, above... Uh, Saloon number 10, and uh, we'll close it out there tonight. Yeah, because I don't know if I want to eat at the salon. <laughs> I don't care where you want to eat. You said we were going to eat at the salon. I'm not eating there. Well, and you said something else today that I'm not even <laughs> mentioning, but you called me out on camera, so that's fine. No, you nailed me for oh, it. Oh, whatever. That's cool. <laughs> I'll just get the hell away from you. <laughs> So what's really cool is uh, we kind of blew the stop sign a few, you know, on the way into town, and we're going to blow it again because there is no stop sign. Correct. There are no stop signs. I think they put them up during the rally. So right here, there's generally stop signs, and everyone comes to a stop, puts their two feet on the ground. So yeah, when you come to a stop sign at the rally, make sure both feet are on the ground or they're going to bust your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're on the way to dinner, and that's going to be great. But first, we're going to stop at the Deadwood Mountain Grand. We're both looking forward to seeing that. We're going to learn about the uh, slime plant. That's going to be really interesting. But hey, you know what? Social club for dinner tonight. Can't wait for that. Deadwood Mountain Grand uh, Resort, uh, hotel, event center, casino, restaurants, a little bit of everything. My name is George Milos. I am the Director of Sales and Communications here at Deadwood Mountain Grand. Uh, I'm a lifelong resident of Deadwood, South Dakota, born and raised. Right now we are in the historic part of Deadwood Mountain Grand. This is the original slime plant. This is where the Homestake Mining Company brought all their ore and they created a sludge called slime that leached out all the gold and that way they were able to process the gold from the ore. And so this did that for, gosh, almost 100 years. About 15 years ago, a group of investors got together and got the funds together to build basically a $35 million facility. Deadwood's unique in that uh, we're, we're right in the heart of the Black Hills, and so obviously May through September is the the peak season for tourists and what we call the rubber tire market. But then in the off season, in the winter, we've got one of the best ski areas north of the Rockies, some of the best snowmobile trails in the country, hiking, biking, there's a little bit for everybody. So we do well all year round. Deadwood Mountain Grand in itself, what we try to do is we try to bring as many shows as we can on the off season. We want to put heads in beds by filling uh, hotel rooms in January. So we try and bring the majority of our concerts and comedians and things like that in, in the shoulder season, although we do a few during the summer months uh, if, if the name is right. A rally is important to the entire state of South Dakota, Wyoming, North Dakota, Colorado. It's incredible. I mean, we are a town of 1,300 people and basically the population swells to a half a million or more. So from people buying gas, a sandwich, a pack of gum, beers, whatever, hotel rooms, it is an enormous boost to the economy and it's huge for the entire state of South Dakota. My favorite thing about Deadwood is, is that as a local, I'm giving you a local perspective here, you can do anything within either a 15 minute walk or a 10 minute drive. You can fish, you can kayak, you can bike, you can gamble. 
I live here in Deadwood and literally I can walk a block and a half and come to a concert by some of the biggest names in the, in the world and live in a town of 1,300 people. It's fantastic, it really is. And if you're ever in the area, when you're in the Black Hills, there's no better hub than Deadwood Mountain Grand. We're right in the heart of the Black Hills. Currently, we're ranked third in the world in Holiday Inn Resorts. The customer service, the gaming, the entertainment, we've got it all, and we're right in the heart of downtown Deadwood. So here we are sitting atop the uh, saloon number 10. Uh, this is a great little place. We've, we've come here many times. Uh, this is a social club, so if you're in town, come on by. But we did some great history today. Uh, Louie and Lori that actually are the owners of this place, great time. Yes. Um, great food. What do you got? I mean, how many flights of stairs did we have to come to uh, get up into the at social At least two. Club? <laughs> two flights? Yeah. Yeah. I have a great plump pork chop, asparagus, and a vegetable medley. Josh got pretty much the same, but he has farro. 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 And what did you get? Okay. I've got salmon and a little bit of sweet potatoes and some asparagus, and I'm looking forward to it. And I got the filet, the vegetable medley, and sweet potatoes. And what drinks did you get? Oh, wonderful <laughs> French martinis. Fantastic. French martinis. Hey. I also got the double cut, but I went big with the little potato. So tomorrow we're gonna to have a great time. We're gonna show you all the great runs that we like around this uh, beautiful place in the Black Hills Mountains, Rushmore, Custer. Gonna be a great time, 16A, Needles. So, Tomorrow's about the ride. That's right. But hey, subscribe to our YouTube channel, tell your friends, I might have to fire you if you don't. Give us a thumbs up, comment, mash that bell, notification, and we'd love you for that.